All right, Beyond the Blue RC. Got an unboxing to do tonight. Just picked up a uh, Traxxas uh, UDR. I've been wanting this truck for a while. Finally got myself one. Uh, 50 mile per hour plus truck. 6S or 4S capable. Comes with a light kit, which is nice. Pro scale. on the box here got that side that's the uh, you can see I got the box body pretty sweet and here's the back of the box here's the back of the box that shows the roll cage with the body off you got two spare tires in the back that are actually real capable tires Scale shocks. Got some drivers in there. And the other, this side, and that's showing the uh, uh, rigid racing body. There's three different configurations. Got the box body, rigid racing body, and there's the Traxxas body. I like the Fox Racing Body the best, so that's the one that I picked up. I like this one the best. Yeah. Let's get this uh, box open, shall we? Obviously, it's four-wheel drive. And we're doing some upgrades to this as well. But let's get into it. Nice seal has not been broken. It's about to be. It's about to be broken. Here we go. So there's the radio. First things first. Obviously, so it's tracks this link enabled. I do have a DX5 rug, and I'm probably going to. Probably going to at some point link this up to my DX5 rugged and probably get rid of this controller, but it's fine for now. Fine for now. So that's the controller. That is the controller. Now we're gonna get the truck out. some tools. We'll get into that in a second. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Let's get this out of the way for a second. All right, truck. Oh, for a second. may do a little tuning of the suspension, but for now, I'll leave it as it is. Like that for now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
good. Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. That will work. So, what we got going on here? Let's see. What do we have in here? We got jumper. Jumper. Not sure what sure what that's for. But figure that out. Figure that out. Some foam. Probably for your batteries. I'm guessing. Yep, yep, yep. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Your standard Traxxas tool set. I have tools, so I don't really need these, but who will they get them to? Tracks of stickers. Here, we got here. It's probably yeah, parts breakdown. LED light assembly. Your different exploded views. Body and modular assembly here. Roll cage accessories. I go through all this, but. Yeah, front assembly, chassis assembly, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all your illustrated parts, break down stuff, your warranty, and then obviously the manual. Here, which is pretty standard, pretty standard stuff. Let's see, uh, going into I'm gonna need some batteries for your truck. Some double A's for your radio. How to turn your, how to install your batteries into your truck. I got a couple 5,000. We're just gonna, I'm gonna fire it up and just see. See what it does. Different languages. So that's your typical Traxxas manual. All right. So let's see. the 5,000 require any foam. This should fit just fine. Start guide on transmitter adjustments. Single battery. Oh, that's for your, okay, that's for your single battery installation. Okay. So this is, this right here is for a single battery, for a single 6S or 4S battery, I'm guessing. You use your jumper cable. Yeah, that's what you do. You plug this in, install this over top, and you just run one 4S or one 6S battery, which I'm not going to do because I'm probably just going to run this on 6S, I'm going to be honest. 
Well, to be honest, that's what I'm probably going to do. So, okay, so that's all that good stuff. Next thing on the agenda is, well, let's get closer. Let's get up close and personal here. This thing's heavy. Oh, just heavy enough. So that's the front. Ugh. That's the side. Obviously the side, the other side looks the same, so we're not gonna really get into that too much, but that's the rear of this bad boy. We got a nice LED bar here. We got a couple up front. Here and we got one up here, so that's pretty sweet. So this thing should be very similar to the Max as far as the LED kit goes, and it should should have some reverse lights and some brake lights on this thing. All right, let's get this thing flipped over here. And get... Okay, transmitter. Way, please. All right, so here we go. Here's the underneath here. Just wait for a second. Okay. Don't need that right now. All right. So there's your motor. There isn't. There's a hot racing. Hot racing uh, skid plate that I'm gonna get. It's gonna replace all of this. I'm gonna pick this up, pick that up at some point on the A-Main Hobbies. Um, it's just gonna release it like that. Okay, that's where the batteries go. And it just clips down like that. See, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so this just pops up and this just slides out. And this goes, that slides up and down like that, like that. Caution. Unlimited Desert Racer. <sighs> Direct damage to your vehicle's electronics while running it in, in soft sand. Make the following minor modifications to all four wheel tire assemblies. Pinch the tires, you cut two small slits using body scissors. Cut slits in the V pattern. Sand to escape. I'm not gonna run this in sand. No way I'm not running in sand. So I'm not doing that. Sand is just the worst when it comes to RCs and electronics. It just gets everywhere. I'm gone down that road. I'm not going down that road with this thing. I'm gonna run it in dirt. And I need some sand to a point, but not like deep sand, not like at the beach. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not doing that. So, okay, so, batteries will go in here like this. One goes here, like that, and then it'll plug in here, to this compartment back here. No, it's not. I'll tell you what, I would not want to be, I would not want to be, out and about changing batteries on this thing. I would not want to do that. Like, I don't want to be out on the trail or out park trying to change these batteries out. That would not be fun. That just clips in like that. And these batteries, this one goes in here. These aren't fully charged. I think one's at 60%, the other one's at 50. This one gets us at least. Powered up. Yeah, 
Trying to get my hand in it. There we go. Alright. Well, it's a scale truck. This is what I wanted for a while, so. No complaining, man. No complaining. No complaining. Get these wires tucked in. I guess you don't have to. I may put some foam in there. It's a little bit of moves around a little bit. I don't know. Let's see what they give us. You may throw it in there. I think I need to tape it down now. I just put it in there. I'm not gonna tape it per se. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Let's try that. Let's see. Like there's, there's not a lot of play. I don't know if I need to. How long door? There it goes. Okay. Just want to see if I can do. This slides in like that. If I can just do it like that. Let's see. If I even really. I don't think I need to really actually. I don't think I need to. That's pretty. That's going to make it really tight. Uh, I don't know if I need to do that or not. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not going to do it right now. Definitely not going to do it right now. Alright, so we're going to slide this back in here. Why are you giving me a hard time? Goodness. Hmm. Why these wires are kicking my butt for some reason. They are. Yeah, that, that'll skip. That will almost get plenty of nice. Okay, I definitely want to get that. One hundred percent. I do have a few upgrades I'm going to do this thing. This is a metal drive shaft. So that's nice. Metal links. They are a little thin, but metal links. That's metal. Roll cage is plastic. These are rubber limiting straps. These are rubber. It's okay. Hot racing makes some limiting straps that are that are a little nicer, a little more realistic. These um, sway bars are plastic. I may upgrade those. Hot racing makes some nice aluminum ones. These links up here are plastic. This is plastic. Trailing arms are plastic. <laughs> Alright, so I am planning on upgrading. I'm planning on upgrading the wheel hubs to these hot racing hexes. Wheel known drive hub with brake disc UDR. And then of course some aluminum calipers. Pretty cool. There's a part number if you're interested. There's a part number on that one. If you're interested. Pretty 
cool. It's more of the looks thing. I mean, it will help. It's, these boxes of plastic, it will give me a little more. Obviously, aluminum's, aluminum's a lot more rigid than plastic. Uh, I got these RC four wheel drive rear trailing arms. These would be a nice upgrade. These plastic ones are they're just okay. Not super duper. Not super duper thread well though, but they're um, they're okay. They're oh just okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some batteries in the transmitter. That's a pretty easy thing to do, right? You need four, you need four double A's, four double A's. said I'm going to be upgrading to my Spectrum DX5 Rugged in this truck so um, plastic Just a metal at some point. It's okay for now. This axle, it's plastic. It's um it's okay for now, but I don't know. I may upgrade that at some point too. Maybe. We'll see. I know there is a Makes. I think it's I think it's part of it. I don't know from back. I don't remember. But anyway. Do have a stand. I probably should get that. Probably should get that. <coughs> Definitely heavier with the batteries in it. Obviously. This nice uh, Traxxas stand I picked up today too at the hobby shop. This is of course where I got the truck. Purchased a truck at my local local hobby town. I like to support my local hobby shop when I can. So we're gonna put this in the stand here. That's the plan. stand I don't like this truck too much so this truck has a uh, weird center of gravity here not a weird center of gravity but it's not a flat it's not a flat chassis like the other trucks so I'm trying to get this to set sit level Man, why does it not want to? Um, what if I... I don't know if that's going to help or not. I don't know if that does. Here. Yes. No, that's not right. I may have to go with my drawer tracks. Stand until I figure this thing out. Because it's not sitting level. Sitting. Like it's not sitting level here. It's fine for my other trucks. That doesn't 
doesn't really matter. But for this truck, it matters. For this truck, it matters a little bit. Huh. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to sit. It's not going to sit right on the stand. I have the batteries in it too, so it could be part of the problem. Well, I'm just going to have to hold it. Brake lights. <clears throat> so it's working. Zoom out a little bit. That's better. Alright. <clears throat> where's my where's my light adjustment? Inside the truck. Well, I'm guessing that I'm going to have to. Well, the module it's probably inside Can't really well they made that hard to get to I may have to put the uh, put the module on it and then I can adjust the, uh, the lighting but Hmm. Well, got some fire extinguishers back there. Some fire extinguishers. Faux shocks here. These spare tires are actually real. You can use these as spares. You wear down the rears here. You pop these on. Probably what I would do is pop these on the front and then switch the ones on the front to the rear. And they start to wear out over time. But yeah, very cool truck. I'm especially it's easier to get to the light lighting control module here. Oh, it's all the way up front. Yep, it's all the way up front. Reach my hand in there. Maybe I can push a button. Let's see. Yeah. That's a zip tie. Oh, I got it. Yeah, that's a zip tie. Okay. All right, that's a, all right. You can reach that without taking the body off. Oh. Thank goodness for that. I really didn't feel like hooking up the, the app to this. 
the module I have it on my TRX4 and I really have to take that out. So, reach in here, you'll feel the button. There you go, there's the front lights. How does that look? Well, we're zoomed in way too much. Let's zoom out. There we go. Reach back in here again. That's bright. Dem's bright. That's cool. What's that bright? Man, this is going to be fun at night. Wow. They're off. So now they're off. Definitely going to have to use the other. Stand for this, I think. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Well, I might have to just use tires to not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can use the stand for my other trucks. That's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I'm still going to use the stands. I'm not going to work on this like I wanted to because the center of gravity on this is all up front. So it's hanging down like that. So, I don't know. That's uh, that's a me problem. That's what that is. It's not not a problem for you guys. That's a me problem for storing it on the shelf over there. All right. So, my brakes. I don't see any reverse. Let me turn. See if we turn the lights on, maybe we'll get some reverse lights. Let's see. Uh, we gotta find it again. That's what she did. There we go. Got it. All right, so the lights are on. No, we don't have reverse lights. Not that you need reverse lights for a um, for a uh, desert racer truck. Not like you are going to be. So these are just markers. Well, brake lights is good. Brake lights are good. <coughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Very cool. Right. Right. <coughs> that is a good looking truck, my friends. That is a good looking truck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs>